You've been waiting for this for a long time, right? How I made this Winter Soldier arm. Well, you can already get the course on my website. You just go to the link and go to my website and just purchase it. But first, let me tell you a little bit about this story. This whole thing goes back to those Thor scales, and it was one night at 2 a.m. almost five years ago. And little did I know, that was to become the best idea I've ever had. What if we could make a flexible, seamless cast while still using a core? What if we could make it by inverting a molder itself so that it could become something more? Like a mold and a core at the same time, or like a mold and a cast at the same time. Like, what would that look like? But wait, 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 I'll do you one better. What if that could be turned into a workflow that would save loads of money, time, and waste less material? You know, and at that time, I just wanted to make some cool Thor scales. Because I was obsessed with, you know, how they looked in the first Thor film. And I'd never seen anyone make the Thor scales in such a way that it would look like the ones that were made for the film. And I knew there had to be a way of making the process easy, fast, and clean. And that's why I came up with the idea of inverting a mold. And that then evolved into the Winter Soldier arm, which is what I'm going to teach you right now. But basically what I thought was going to be the end of a cool experiment turned out to be the beginning of a great journey. Almost five years later, I've been able to break the laws of mold making to achieve something that was physically impossible for a prop like this. Having not only a flexible prop without seam lines and made with a core, but also being able to have total control and clarity of what's going on during the entire process of making it. Hell, I can even weather the thing before it's even made. How is that possible? I can even make a beautiful and comfortable lining before even demolding it. I can even make a muscle suit underneath before demolding it. I hope this course allows you to open your mind and think outside of the box we've been accustomed to over the years. So if you're a cosplayer or someone who is into the maker world, I highly recommend you get this course because it's going to open up your mind and trust me, the sky's the limit, this is only the beginning. But you know, this is also wonderful for those that have a lot more experience than I have in mold making because you know, there's always something new to learn and I've loved talking to you guys at conventions like Monster Palooza, for example, where you try to guess how I made this. So now I don't have to hide it anymore from you guys. You can learn it now. And it's going to be wonderful because we can evolve this thing into something beautiful over time. Because trust me, again, this is only the beginning. This is probably the proudest I've ever been of any of my creations. And I know it can help a lot of you guys. So let's go. What are we waiting for?